92 near Bell, striking a fence and a tree. Snyder was airlifted to a St. Louis hospital with serious injuries. Maxwell also hospitalized and later released. Neither man was wearing a seat belt. Jefferson City pet owners will have to shop somewhere else after the Petco off Missouri Boulevard closes its doors next month. Right now, Petco is trying to sell off its inventory as the staff prepares for the store to go out of business. A manager there told KRCG 13 that the store was at the end of its lease and the real estate company that owns the building decided to go with another tenant. Petco management says they hope to reopen elsewhere in the city. The store will close in less than a month. Governor Jay Nixon wants to spend $10 million to turn the old St. Mary's Hospital into part of the Lincoln University campus. Nixon this morning told a gathering on the LU campus he will include the money in his budget proposal to be delivered to lawmakers tomorrow. He said the project will allow Lincoln to expand its nursing program and to launch a culinary arts program. The money would let the state buy and renovate part of the current St. Mary's Hospital in Jefferson City once the health center moves to its new site at the end of the year. This investment will enhance the learning opportunities for students in such high demand fields as nursing. It's a tremendous opportunity for the state and for Lincoln University. Nixon will present his entire budget plan tomorrow just prior to his State of the State address. Kermit Miller will have more on today's announcement tonight at 6. The U.S. military announced warships and several transport aircraft will be on standby to help evacuate American officials and athletes from the Winter Olympics. U.S. officials are concerned about the safety of the Olympic Games in Sochi, Russia, after an Islamic militant group from southern Russia claimed responsibility for killing 34 people in recent bombings. In an Internet video that surfaced over the weekend, the Islamic militant group claimed responsibility for the Volgograd attacks and promised a, quote, present for those attending the Olympic Games. Lawmakers have serious concerns about American safety at the Games. They want to see more security cooperation from Moscow. Uh, I think they think this is a political embarrassing situation for them they're not going to share. That's really the wrong attitude when you're talking about an international event. The U.S. State Department has issued a warning to Americans planning to attend the Winter Games, saying they should stay vigilant and exercise good judgment using public transportation. We want to know what you think. Do you feel enough is being done for security for the upcoming Olympics? Go to our Facebook page. You can join the conversation. Still to come on KRCG 13 Live at 5, an American held hostage in North Korea is paraded in front of that country's media. We'll show you the video. And New York's governor, Chris Christie, faces more accusations of using his administration's influence to get support for a development project. And another cold night ahead. Once a cold front pushes through, we're going to be falling into the teens tonight. And not going to be a whole lot warmer for tomorrow. I'll talk about temperatures and a possible snow chance after the break. What do you get when you add helpful advice to a store full of batteries for things like laptops, cell phones, watches, cars, and other devices, plus thousands of energy-efficient light bulbs like LEDs, CFLs, and halogens? Well, at Batteries Plus Bulbs, you get what you came for. Batteries Plus Bulbs. Get what you need. Oh, this jumbo popcorn chicken is so great, huh? I got the spicy ones for my tennis elbow. It's a shame you got a tennis elbow. No, my doctor said I should spice it. Yeah, probably ice it is what he said, seeing as how icing is an actual remedy and spicing is not. You said ice? I'm gonna live! Yeah! Well, you just have tennis elbow. Man, I'm gonna live! Two good cures for common hunger. Original and spicy jumbo popcorn chicken, starting at just $1.99. This is how you sonic. See those cool gadgets and that sleep TV? Well, now get the technology you need to power them at a great price from CenturyLink. Your link to Prism TV and super fast internet. Enough speed for all your devices. Both for less than $75 a month. Plus, ask how to get a $300 CenturyLink Visa prepaid card when you upgrade your programming package to Prism Preferred or Premium Triple Play. CenturyLink Prism TV offers you a whole home DVR that lets you watch and record multiple shows at once. And a wireless set-top box that lets you put your TV virtually anywhere. CenturyLink Prism is TV that replaces cable and satellite. 
So call 855-258-1055 to bundle both for less than $75 a month. And ask how to get a $300 CenturyLink Visa prepaid card, too. So call 855-258-1055 today. How do you cha-ching? Enjoy our completely remodeled casino floor, including a new bar and flat screen TVs in the pit. It's a fresh new look. Only.